Sup guys, I'm Kel, Red Zone Rogue, and welcome to a Force of Will unboxing, and that's just flying right into the camera. We are not wasting any time here. I have a Seven Kings of the Lands booster box here. I picked it up for pretty cheap on TCG Player for like 35 bucks, 40 bucks. I figured this is one of the sets I've only ever opened up one booster box of, and there's still some cards in here that I would like to pick up. Like, I don't actually own a Prissia ruler, it's just not super good, but still pretty cool for my collection, and there are QR codes in here. And um, it's just a, just a fun set. But before I open this up, I just want to note that there are 10 different rulers, I believe, in this set. And we should get three in the box. Maybe more if we're lucky, maybe not. I think it's three, but let's, uh, let's, let's find out. All right, got the shrink wrap all off. And I do want to talk about this set before I start getting into it too much. If you are new to the game, um, just note that this was actually one of the first sets released in... Um, in English, like widespread launch. This is the first set in the Alice Cluster. It is a Wanderer legal set, not New Frontiers. And um, I believe this is the first set they started using QR codes. And Uber started in the next set. You might still be able to get God packs in this set. Let's uh, not beat around the bush. Let's just start opening them up. I'm gonna blaze through these packs pretty quick. Um, I'm not gonna skip through this first one, just so we can see. But I will sneak the QR code out. And let's get on this. So the first card is 4C, and let's just go through these really quickly. By the way, I think this card's awesome. For two, you get to draw two cards. If that was a magic card, that would be really good. And by magic card, I mean Magic the Gathering. This cat looks like a penis. <laughs> we're gonna keep we're gonna keep going. We have a drag. Pretty good dragon type card. We have uh, for the rare, this is for spin forbidden spell of the undead lord. We have a super rare, this is Queen Long, the Sacred Beast. Pretty good Sacred Beast type card. And then we have a Foil, Order of the Sacred Queen, common. Um, let's do rares, super rares, and then like full arts or something. I don't know, so something like that. All right, we have Squire of the Ocean Lady. I like this card too. 400, 400, comes into play, draw a card. Not too bad with a cute little angel. We have Alice's Castling <clears throat> as my voice cracks. And we're just gonna blast through these. Or rare is, um, by who? By who the Sacred Beast. Got, got more Sacred Beasts. Stone, and then a Foil Elite Commander. So I will note as I flip through these, the only box I've ever opened to this, I opened up on the channel. It's one of my first videos. It might be my first video. Um, if you watch it, it's probably a little sketchy, but not too bad. But I got fucking so many Melguses. I got two, I got three. I got a lot of Melgus um, as the ruler. So you can get multiple to the same ruler, which is kind of weird. Horn of Sacred Beast, fantastic card, recently banned in Wanderer, which is a bummer. We have a Water Magic Stone, and then, ooh, a Foil Regalia. This is Mary Bell, the Steel Doll. Pretty good Regalia. There's a lot of Regalia in the set, and a lot of it is pretty good. We want to get Death Sights, basically. That's a fantastic one that has not been banned yet. Got this Wolf Bro, followed by the Bear Bro and the an Angel Girl. Art on that card's really sweet, and I like the art on that one too. And we have this, oh yeah, I forgot about the Valkyries. Valkyries are pretty good, they're both uh, super rares, and they're pretty good. The, well, the red one's pretty good, the other one is not so good. That turtle guy was our rare. And we have another rare Sacred Beast. We got a lot of Sacred Beasts so far. Maybe we'll get a Prissia. So this is actually the set that introduced a lot of the returning characters. I'm gonna get this QR code out. Um, so it introduced like uh, Prissia and Valentina, a lot of the characters that we've seen up throughout the Alice and Lapis cluster, and even now in uh, a Rhea cluster. Well, sort of, sort of. Ooh, this is a good one, Artemis of the God's Bow. Very good regalia. We have a Darkness Magic Stone. Ooh, and then a Full Art Stamp Snow White, the Valkyrie Passion. I remember this card was like, like a $10, $15 card when it came out. It's a very aggressive red Resonator, it's got like swiftness, you can do a lot of damage, it's got first strike. It's a pretty good card and it has fantastic art. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy about this one actually. Got this uh, eyeball bat and some trader bros. Just fucking coward dude running from the fire. And once again, we're gonna blast through these. Got this Medusa eyeball. And this is the Invigoration of the Winged Lord is our rare. Followed by a water magic stone and a foil horn of the sacred beasts. Got some eyeballs remind me of Pride from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, or the manga. Both are excellent. We have, uh, oh, this is uncommon. Gorgon. There's, there's some, like, Medusa Gorgon type stuff. This is a Sisei the Ancient Forest. 
It is a sacred beast um, thingy. Oh, speaking of uh, Medusa, this is Medusa, the Dead Eye of uh, Petrification. It's a super rare foil. Pretty nice one, too. She's a, she's a pretty good card, actually. Didn't see a lot of play, but um, yeah, I think she's good. She looks really cool. Ah, uh, good old Soul Hunt. That's actually a really good removal type. So this is a really good card, too. Blessing of Yggdrasil. You can, like, search your stone deck for a stone. Is this any stone? For a card and put it under the Magic Stone I Arrested. Yeah, it's really good. If they ever print some, like, broken-ass stones, they are very good. Also, this is a very good card in the Turbo Gwyber style deck in Wanderer. Um, so keep a lookout on that. We have Keen Sense. Pretty good cancel spell. Cancels a normal spell, which is like anything that's not a resonator. Or you're going to destroy a Chant Standby Area card, which is actually relevant in Wanderer. We have another fucking Horn of Sacred Beasts. We get a lot of like double rares lately. And then we have this Full Art Baihu, the Sacred Beast. Uh, it could be better. Got like all these Alice's cronies and this dude. We got a lot of, a lot of the same cards. The set wasn't a super big set, much bigger than the press, the preceding set, which was uh, one of the worst sets ever released. And that would be uh, the Millennia of Ages. This is anyway. This is Niflheim, Realm of the Dead, followed by a Bedivere. This card is really fucking good. Wait, Niflheim? It's rare, right? Yeah, it is rare. Okay. Anyway, this guy's awesome. He blows up a dude when he comes into play. Pretty good. Well, he removes a. Resonator with a thousand or more attacks. It kills big guys, but still really good. And then we have a foil bat. All right, we got some necromancy and little cute thing stick. More cute things. We have this big old drag. We haven't got any Gwybers yet. Our regalia, or our rare, is Deep Blue, the Phantom Board. Not one that sees a whole lot of play, but still kind of cool. Darkest Magic Stone, and then we have a foil underground dragger. And we got a Alice's little scout, and I'm just gonna. Blaze on through these. We got Drag. Oh, Gwyber. Nice. It's the first Gwyber. Very, very good card. He basically makes his own archetype. We have Phantom of Primogenitor. I think this card's kind of cool. Uh, for five, you can put any resonator from your hand onto the field. So I've been waiting for them to print something really broken so I could use that as like a wombo combo. We got a Light Magic Stone and then our rare. Ooh, we got our full art ruler. So this is Alice the Saint of Healing. Uh, this is a very interesting ruler because um, there are two different Alice's that have this ruler side and they flip into different things. There's a healing one and like a Valkyrie one. Um, which is pretty cool. I actually didn't have this one as the, uh, the full art stamp version of this. So I'm pretty happy to get this one. And, um, you know, Alice is a pretty cool character. I know a lot of people got sick of her, but, you know, I still like her. I am a pretty big fan of the Lewis Carroll Through the Looking Glass, Alice in Wonderland stories um just take a moment and appreciate the art going on there um yeah they're just crazy and not much to say i don't like them got another forbidden spell light magic stone and oh dude i forgot this is in the set the celestial wing seraph very very good card um this was kind of like one of the go-to finisher cards for quite a while now well it's probably been overshadowed by stuff but i still think it's really cool you know i kind of wish all those horn of four sacred beasts were death scythes that would be nice. Maybe we get Death Scythe coming up here. I kind of see like the edging of something. And it is a, a Gleipnir, the Red Binding of Fate. This is Valentina's Regalia. We have a Wind Magic Stone, followed by this big old dragon. We got another <laughs> penis cat. Uh, that guy looks pretty sweet. Looks like um, a Mordecai from Shadowverse. If you play Shadowverse, if you don't, it is a fantastic game, like a phone game. We got another turtle rare. We got a foil penguin, and we got, oh, dude. Valentina, the ruler of paradise is our rare, or, I mean, our, our ruler. So this is the second ruler we've gotten. Look, it's Valentina before she got incredibly evil. I guess she was already pretty evil at this point, but still uh, still pretty sweet. Add it to the this pile, even though it's not a uh, stamp. So that is two rulers down, and I can see we have a super rare here. Um, Back then, the Super Rares used to have, like, a golden border. Oh, I like this card. I used to play this in, like, an Angel-type deck. It's, uh, it's not too bad. It's not great, but, you know, it worked in the Angel deck. This is our rare. This is a Behemoth, the Earth Eater. We have a, ooh, Persephone, the Nether Empress. Very, very cool-looking art. And then we have a Foil uh, Grim Guy, Hunter of Souls. We got this twig, and then a lady with some cakes. Honestly... Some of those cakes are looking 
pretty good right about now. Ooh, this is a pretty good card. Sprint of the Beast Lady. I used to use this quite a bit in my Wanderer Elves deck. It's kind of been upstaged by the Ferris command, but still pretty good. Buffs all your dudes. We have a Light Magic Stone and then a Foil Behemoth, the Earth Eater. And you know what? At this point, we're just going to blaze right onto the rare. Our rare is another Mary Bell. Then we got a Fire Magic Stone and then a Foil Mary Bell. So what's weird about the Mary Bell is the stamp should make this full art, but it doesn't for this card. And this is not like a single printing error. I have another one that I pulled from a separate pack that is just like this. Very weird. Got a rapid growth. That's actually a pretty, pretty good card. Um, I think I use it in my IU deck. Pretty sure I do. Uh, we got a Baihu, another one. Just gonna add him to the Baihu pile. Got this foil trader Shangri La, and then we have ooh a Rezar. This is our third ruler for the for the box. Pretty good. That's probably the last one. But I'm glad none of them are Melgus, cause holy fuck, I got so many Melgus the last time. Alrighty, once again, just gonna blast, ooh, Keen Sense, good one, or I used to call it, uh, Keen Ass, cause, I mean, she's just, she's just wearing a thong, I mean, come on, guys. We have another Behemoth, and a, ooh, this is a first time one, this is a Foil Rare, um, Zukue, the Sacred Beast. Yeah, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Alrighty, blast on, another Keen Ass, we have a Merlin is a rare, and then we have a Medusa as a super rare, double rare pack, followed by this, uh, not Pride. But I've not got a single Death Scythe. I'm pretty sure Death Scythe's in this set. So the rare is, uh, this Shangri-La, the Paradise of the Ocean, and then we have a foil, um, Snow White, the Valkyrie of Passion. Very good super rare. I mean, I've already mentioned it a couple times. We've got a full art one. Starting off with the Little Angel. We're gonna blast past all this stuff. So we have another deep blue, the phantom board, and then another yeah, foil uh, Medusa gaze thing. I like this dude's sweet metal beard. And by this dude, I mean these dudes, because there are multiple dudes. We have a charm of the princess, rare, and a stamped Niflheim, realm of the dead. This is kind of like a zombie tribal deck, or tribal card. Zombies not as cool as the zombies in magic, unfortunately. Force Will never really printed any super cool zombie cards that made you want to play zombies, which is unfortunate, unfortunate. unless you're playing with a Rezard, I suppose. But even then... Hey, look, another uh, Niflheim. Just getting all the Niflheims. Starting out with this clockwork dude. The uh, machine deck was actually pretty good for a time. We got some keen ass. We got this mm, jabroni, Zuque, the Sacred Beast. We got another Celestial Wing Seraph, which is fantastic. Just getting, getting all the Seraphs. And a foil dude. And by all the Seraphs, I mean, we got two, but two is still pretty good. Still hoping to see Death Scythe. I mean, I oh look, we got a Death Scythe. I was very uh, worried that there wasn't any even in the set. And I was thinking of a different set. This is a uh, foil super rare, Orboros, the Snake of Reincarnation. He's pretty cool. He's pretty powerful. Not a super good card. Um, Death Scythe is a very, very good card. And now that I got a Death Scythe, I want a foil Death Scythe. We have, oh, I mean, Artemis is another good one. Probably the second best Regalia now. Well, there's, there's some other pretty decent ones. We have a Foil Endless Knight. Pretty, it's an okay removal spell. I always love the art on that card. I mean, I've probably mentioned it before. We have another Glapnir. Man, we're getting all of the Regalia that I don't want. I mean, Glapnir's fine, but uh, it's not a Death Scythe. We only got one Death Scythe. Starting off with one of my favorite cards on the set, and we can see we got another Glapnir. What the fuck, man? Too many Glapnirs. We have another Quinglong, the Sacred Beast, and followed by a Dark Purge. You know, I swear at this point I'm gonna end up with four of every single Regalia, except for fucking Death Scythe. We have this card again, another Ouroboros, and a... Ooh. Hello, shiny lady. More eyeballs. We got, uh... Merlin, we have an undead King Arthur, and then a shiny Charging Assaulter. Um, this King Arthur, not as good as the Living Light version. Good old Wolfy Wolf. We'll just blast on through. Hey, look, another Death Scythe. That's two. Not bad. And then we have a uh, Cinderella, the Valkyrie of Glass. So this is the uh, counterpart to um, Snow White. So Snow White and Cinderella are 
counterparts for whatever reason. So pretty cool. We got a foil wolf. So I'm not 100% on some of the ratio breakdowns for this set. Like, I'm not sure if it's possible to get another stamped um, regalia. Oh, we got another Beast Queen or Charge of the Beast Queen. Sprint to the Beast Lady. I, you know, I got there eventually. This is a foil rare forbidden spell. Got three more packs to go, including this one. That is an Artemis the God's Bow. Pretty good one. Ooh, and a foil little angel here. She reminds me kind of of Evangelion and also kind of, of for obvious reasons, Alita, Battle Angel Alita, but not as much. I don't know. Still happy to get the Artemis. Come on, last two packs. Death Scythe, fucking Deep Blue. Well, at least we got a Deep Blue. <laughs> Alright, final pack. This is going to have a Death Scythe in it. Plus a foil death scythe and an uber one that doesn't exist. Ignore me, but will it have it? Nah, migration of the wing lord. But we have a foil one. No, sad. All right, guys. So let's just do a quick recap. Even though you probably don't care very much, this is probably the coolest card we got. The full art stamp Snow White. Not super good, but maybe playable in Wanderer. It's not. It's not really. But she's pretty, so we'll take it. We also have this uh, Alice Ruler, just a pretty good addition to my collection, as well as Rezard with his giant fucking wall of text, and Valentina with her giant fucking other things. And um, I would like to point out that Death Scythe is the only regalia we did not get three of. We got three of every single other regalia. Happy about the Artemises, but come on. Come on. Well, I hope you guys liked the video. Um, leave a like, comment, and or subscribe if you did. Stay tuned for some more Force Will content. Ever more Force Will content on this channel. You never know what you'll see next. Maybe it'll be another old box opening. Maybe it'll be a new one. Maybe even a deck tech or a strategy video. Whatever I'm calling them. Um, I hope you guys have a good one, and I will see you next time. Look into the eyes of death.